Welcome to Grace Space. So stoked to have you here. Missed your faces so much. Today is our last Sunday of April. So sad, I know, it's okay, it's okay to cry. Tears are okay. But guys, that means that we have one more lesson to talk about Easter. Easter has just been this beautiful month of talking about Jesus and what he's done for us and all these amazing things and that he's our savior and that he loves us and that he wants us to believe in him. It's been a great month. Now, before we get into our next lesson, let's play a bit of a game. If you know this one, which I know you do, I'm looking at you, Mathis. I know you know this one. It is our would you rather game. We do this one all the time when we're together. Now, I want you guys to get on up, stand up on your feet, stand up. I know you can, it's okay. I can't stand up because I'll be out of the frame, but I know you can. Okay, are you on your feet? Beautiful. I'm gonna say, would you rather, and then I'm gonna point to this side of the screen and you're gonna walk to that side of the screen. So let's say, would you rather eat blue soup for the rest of your life? If you would do that, you would walk to this side. And then I said, or would you rather eat tomato soup for the rest of your life? And then you would go to that side. Makes sense, you got it. I know you do, cause you are smart. Okay, you ready? Okay, would you rather, this side, would you rather have hiccups or sneeze once a minute for the rest of your life? So either hiccups or sneeze for the rest of your life. Go, go, go. What would you choose? Ah, uh, like I feel like I would rather sneeze because my hiccups, I sound like a frog. Like it just, it would not be a fun time. Okay, would you rather rhyme everything you see or sing everything you say? Interesting. I'm not a really good rhymer. I think I would probably sing. I would sing everything. Not a good singer either, but bounce it out, okay. Would you rhyme or sing? You got on your sides? All right, next one. Would you rather, boom, would you rather spend the night on a raft in a shark infested waters or in an inu in the middle of a jungle? Like a little, a little thing. Would you rather spend a night on a raft? Like, I don't know what kind of raft. Maybe it's like a pop bottle raft in shark infested waters or in an inu in the jungle. What do you think? Get to that side. I would probably choose the jungle because the sharks are, no. Okay, would you rather create the next household invention? So like the telephone, the TV, like the next big thing, dishwasher, Bluetooth speaker, or become a household name as a sports star? So would you rather invent something that everyone knows or would you rather be a sports star that everyone knows? Pick that side, what do you think? What do you think? I'd probably be an inventor, I think it would be cool. Okay, would you rather, this one is pretty cool. Would you rather be able to communicate with animals, animal, like your dog, like you would be able to have conversation with your dog or read people's minds? What do you think? Read people's minds or be able to communicate with animals? I personally would do the animal side. This is me standing on this side of the screen. There you go. Okay, which one did you pick and why? Like, why do you want to read people's minds? Like, I feel like some people got some crazy stuff going in there. Or, like, animals, I feel like animals are more fun, fun to talk to. Like, they'd just be like, my dog would look at me and be like, I saw a bird today. There was a bird. I'd love that conversation. Okay, guys, we, that was really fun. Thanks for playing along with me, grab a seat. We're going to talk about, <laughs> we're going to talk about our lesson now. Sound good? Okay, let's get into it. So I'm so excited we get to be together today. I say that all the time because I really am. Like I truly am excited that we're able to do this and we get this opportunity to talk about Jesus together. So I have a really awesome story to tell you guys. And okay, I want you to think about your best friend. Think about your best friend. Maybe you haven't seen them in a while. I haven't seen my best friend in like seven months. It's hard, it's hard. Think about your best friend. Don't say their name out loud. I want you to keep it in there. You can if you want, it's okay. If you already did. But think about what makes them your best friend and what makes someone, what makes someone your best friend? 
what makes you want to hang out with someone all the time? Is it because they're super funny? Is it because they have a really cool dog? You know I love dogs. Or maybe their mom makes the best mac and cheese. Like, maybe those are the reasons you want to, like, hang out with them. So think about your best friend. Why do you want to hang out with them? Put a thumbs up when you got that. Okay. Now, I'm going to tell you about someone today who was best friends with Jesus. Now, this guy, he's best friends. His name is Peter. So I was thinking, do you know any other Peters? Think of any famous Peters you know. Um, there's a few. Okay, in case you didn't, there's Peter Rabbit. I have not seen this movie, but it looks kind of cool. I think there's a second one. Peter Rabbit. Um, another one, I know a few Peters. Uh, fun fact, uh, one time I met a dog, and its name is Peter. Um, also, my dad, this is a photo of my dad and the dog named Pete. The, this is my dad, Peter. Hi, dad. That's him. And this is a dog that we met that was named Peter. Wild. Okay. Now, what's another famous Peter, you know? Also, my, for the parents watching this, my dad's name is Pete Rose, which is also a famous baseball play, player. Not the same person. All right. Peter. Peter, Peter, Peter. What else? Who else is a famous Peter that you might know? You ready? This one. This one you know. You know this one. Spider-Man, Peter Parker. That's right, famous Peter. Okay, what's another Peter, famous Peter that you know? Hmm, ooh, 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 you saw that already. Who, who's a famous Peter that you know? That's right, Pete, Simon Peter the Fisherman. He is the one we're talking about today. Sorry, we're not talking about Peter Parker or Peter Rabbit or my dad. We're talking about Peter the fisherman, the disciple of Jesus. It's pretty cool. All right, so Peter was one of Jesus' closest friends, and he's a big part of the story, and this story that I'm going to tell you about that comes from our Bible, right? Do you got your Bibles? Ba, 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 ba. Hold them up. Pause this video if you need to. Go grab it. We're going to be looking into our Bible, into the biblical truth that God gives us, and if you want to follow along about... Peter's reconciliation, it's John 18, 15 to 27. Okay, so he's a big part of this story, right? Something's happened to Peter that I wanna tell you guys about. There's specific parts and I'm gonna need you guys to help me out. I'm gonna show you a picture and I'm gonna ask you what you think, one, two, or three, and you're gonna yell at me through the screen. I will hear you, I know I will. And you're gonna tell me which one you think it is, okay. So all month long, we've been talking about the kind of person Jesus is, how he died and came back to life, which is amazing, and I love celebrating Easter because of that. He came back to life to be our savior. And today I'm gonna to tell you a story about something that happened before Jesus died, and then something that happened after Jesus came back to life. And it's all about Jesus' friend, Peter. That's right, you got it. Okay, so, like I said, Peter was one of Jesus' closest friends. They hung out literally all the time, like all the time. And okay, I just think about this sometimes and I'm like, could you imagine hanging out with Jesus? Like Jesus is your BFF. Could you imagine that? And I mean like, hey, we get that. We are able to have that relationship with Jesus. But it was like this, like face to face, like your siblings are close to you on the couch. Like they were shoulder to shoulder with Jesus. So wherever Jesus was, Peter was right there next to him. Peter loved Jesus and would do anything for him. In fact, Peter told Jesus that the last night that Jesus and his friends were together, before Jesus was arrested, Peter told Jesus, I will never leave you. Like he was like, hey, you are my best friend. I will never, I will never leave you. I will never deny you. I, I am your number one fan, your best friend. Wherever you go, Jesus, even if it's prison, I will go with you. This is what Peter was saying to Jesus. Jesus told him that he would deny being Jesus' friend three times. Three times! Like, not once, not twice, three! Three times! And, like, could you imagine? You're telling Jesus that you will never, you will never deny his friendship, you will always be there for him, and he just straight up goes, mm, actually, you will. Man, I wonder how Peter felt. He must have felt so, like, confused. On the night that Jesus was arrested, Peter followed the crowd of people to see where they were taking him. But he didn't want to be recognized because he was afraid of what would happen to him because they didn't treat Jesus very nicely, right? 
They had just arrested Jesus, so Peter must have been thinking that he and all of Jesus' other friends were going to be taken next. There must have been so much fear in that and so much confusion. He must have felt so scared that it could happen to him. Do you guys? Okay, this is my scared face. Ready? Do your scared face with me in three, two, one. <laughs> That's, <laughs> like, I'd be so scared. I'd be so scared. Man, so he was so scared that this would happen to him. Peter was standing outside the place where Jesus was when someone stepped up to him and started to talk to him. Who do you think this person was? Okay, we got our options here. Are you ready? Okay, this person stepped up to talk to him. Who do you think it was? Do you think it was number one? Give me one if you think it was a policeman. Give me a number two if you think it was a farmer. And a number three if you think it was a girl. What do you think? So, he, this person steps up to him and talks to him. And who is it? Who do you think it is? It is... It's the girl. If you put up number three, give yourself a high five. You got that right. Okay. So a girl approached Peter and said, Hey, I know you. Aren't you friends with Jesus? And what do you think Peter said? I don't... I don't know if it took him a moment or if it was just like so fast. He must have been so scared and he would end up arrested just like Jesus, like we just talked about before. He was scared to be arrested. So, what do you think Peter did next, okay? What do you think he did next? We got our next one. You think number one, he lied, put up a hand. Number two, he would run away. Give me two, give me a peace sign if you think it's number two. Or number three, do you think he told the truth and said that he was friends with Jesus? What do you think it is? Bum, bum, bum. It is, it is sticking together. That's what it is. Okay. It was number one. If you put up number one, give yourself a high five because he lied. Peter told the girl that he did not know Jesus. But didn't we just, like... We just talked about how he was going to be Jesus' best friend, that he would be with him wherever the night before, that he would never leave him. Jesus is arrested, and now with all the pressures and worries, Peter is telling people he's not friends with Jesus. Now, a little while later, the same night, another person approached Peter, and he said, hey, you, you hang out with Jesus. I've seen you together. You're friends with him. And the second time, Peter lied again. Twice. He lied twice. Remember Jesus said that Peter was going to deny him three times. That's right. He was going to deny him three times. He told the people again that he wasn't friends with Jesus. Not him. He didn't know. He didn't know him. He didn't want. He, was, he had no clue who this Jesus guy was. I mean, Peter is supposed to be one of Jesus' closest friends. But Jesus being arrested and the crowds that showed up to see, it must have had Peter so afraid. Like, I don't know about you guys, but sometimes when people are being mean to others, sometimes it can, you want to defend yourself and you want to make sure that you'll be okay. And that's kind of what Peter did here. He knew that Jesus was being attacked, so he wanted to protect himself. Which, like, it sucks because... Jesus loves us. Jesus loves Peter and he wanted he wanted Peter to say that he knew him, to stand up for what he believed, right? But Peter had fear. And sometimes we have fear too, but Jesus still loves us and he still wants to be with us and he wants us to cry out to him. Now, let's get back into the story. Okay. So, he told people that he wasn't friends with Jesus. And then the third time that night this is all happening in one night, guys. The third time, someone came up to him and asked him again if he knew Jesus. So, what do you think he did? Did he, number one, lie? Give me number one if you think it is. Number two, did he scream and yell? Or number three, do you think he cried? Actually, in some versions of the Bible, that is a trick question because he did all three. So, everyone won on that one. Peter lied the third time, telling the crowd he didn't know Jesus. Okay, let's do a little acting here. I'm going to be the crowd. You're going to be Peter. Ready? Do you know Jesus? What did Peter say? No, that's right. So, to make it even more convincing, he started to yell and scream, saying he didn't even know who Jesus was. 
Peter, the man who was one of Jesus' closest friends, was shouting out that he wasn't his friend at all. But then Peter remembered how he told Jesus that he would never leave him, that he would always be his friend. Peter got really sad and he pretended not even, not even that he knew Jesus. The man who changed his life, he really did. He realized that he was, he realized what he was doing and started to cry, right? Number three, he started to cry knowing that he had disappointed Jesus. Peter didn't see Jesus again that night because not only was Jesus arrested, but what happened? Jesus died that night, that's right. I don't know, man, I would be so sad if I was Peter. Like I just did something I didn't wanna do. I was, I just said I didn't know Jesus who changed my life. I'd be pretty sad too. Sometime later, Peter was out with his friends and I want you to guess what you think they were doing. What do you think they were doing? They were not monkeys and screaming and crying. Boop, 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 boop. They were doing, what do you think they were doing? Were they one on a boat? Give me one if you think it was. Were they two eating lunch? That nice big piece of bread, that looks good. Or were they three at someone's house? What do you think? Were they on a boat? Were they eating food? Or were they hanging out at someone's house? What do you think? What do you think? One, two, three. They were on the boat. That's right, okay. They had been fishing all night and hadn't caught anything, nothing. But then a man off the shore called out to them. The man asked them if they had any fish and they said, they hadn't caught anything. They were fishing, but they couldn't, they didn't have anything. So he told them to put their nets in the water on the other side of the boat and they would get fish. And man, did they ever. The nets were so heavy from all the fish they caught. They knew there was only one person who could have done something like this. Who do you think could have done something like that? Jesus, that's right. Peter looked closely at the man on shore and suddenly realized it was Jesus. Jesus was alive. He was standing right there. Jesus saw them again, just like we learned last week that he saw Thomas. So what do you think happened after this? Peter lied about being Jesus' friend three times. What do you think happened? Do you think that Jesus like just walked away? He was like, see ya. Okay. What do you think happened? Do you think number one, give me that one. Do you think Jesus and Peter fought? Do you think number two, that Peter swam away from Jesus because he was so sad and scared? Or number three, do you think they had a fish breakfast? What do you think? One, two, or three, put them up. You put up number three, you are correct. They had a fish breakfast because I mean, they just had all of this fish, it was so good. Okay, they had breakfast. Peter jumped into the water and swam as fast as he could to meet Jesus. And that's the most incredible thing about this story. Guys, like, I, that would break my heart. Jesus, like denying Jesus multiple times and the, like, thinking that, feeling bad. Remember, Peter cried because he realized what he had done. But seeing Jesus, Jesus didn't yell at him. They didn't have a fight. Peter didn't run away from him. He ran to him because he knew about Jesus' love and he knew them. Man, they had finished, they fished all night and hadn't caught anything. But they knew that Jesus was the one who helped them to create that miracle. So Peter learned that day that Jesus never stops loving us. I want you to know that right now. Jesus never stops loving you. Sometimes maybe we feel that we do something so bad that no one could love us. Maybe we feel like we can sometimes have these thoughts that are not nice, that we might think that other people don't love us. But I want you to know, Jesus loves you so much. He really does, and he wants to have a relationship with you. We talked about believing in him last week and how we can talk to him. guys. Man, I don't know how many times I can say this, how many different ways I can tell you, but Jesus died for you. He died for you because he loves you. And he wants, he wants you to know that because he never stops loving us. Peter denied him three times. He denied even knowing Jesus. But do you think Jesus stopped loving him because of that? 
When Jesus told Peter that he was going to deny him, he didn't say, you're going to de deny me three times and then I'm never going to talk to you again. He just, he stated a fact, but he still loved Peter. Even when he messed up, Jesus wasn't angry. He wasn't angry at Peter. He didn't yell. He didn't get mad. He didn't want to get even. Jesus loved him and would always love him. Guys, and that's, Jesus loves us, and that's how he wants us to love people too. And it's not easy. That's why we need to have a relationship with God. We need to have our own relationship with Jesus. Not our parents' relationship. We need to have our own relationship. We need to read the Bible. We need to pray. We need to know that Jesus loves us and he wants us to believe in him. We need to have our own faith because you individually sitting on that couch, you have your individual relationship with Jesus. And yeah, and he just, he loves you so much. And this, this thing that happened with Peter, this love that Jesus gave for Peter is true for us too. Jesus never stops loving us. No matter what happens in our lives, no matter if we lie, if we hurt people, if we do things we're not supposed to do, no matter what, Jesus never stops loving us. Guys, there's times where we all mess up. I've messed up. I guarantee your leaders have, your parents have. We all mess up. But Jesus loves us and is stronger than any bad thing we will ever do. Now, we need to ask for forgiveness. We need to know that what we did was wrong, and we need to ask God to help us fix our wrongs and to forgive us for what we've done because Jesus died for us we have that forgiveness right like and then we can walk in knowing that we don't have to be we don't have to keep doing these wrong things that we can ask Jesus to help us to be better and you know what sometimes it takes a long time I'm still working on myself I'm still working on who I am with Jesus but Jesus never stops loving us in that process if you ever do something wrong and you're worried Jesus will be angry I want you to remember this story Remember that Jesus will never stop loving you. Or we have a fun little thing that we can learn. Remember last week was um, Jesus never, or Jesus wants us to be belief in him. <laughs> I think it's so funny. Lucas said I was super lame about it, but I thought it was really funny. Now Jesus never stops loving us. So maybe you could like text a friend, text a cousin, text a grandma and grandpa and say Jesus never stops loving you Jesus never stops loving me that's right it's pretty cool I think it's really cool okay can you say it with me Jesus never stops loving me say it again Jesus never stops loving me that's right okay we're gonna pray and then we're gonna get into our Bible verse okay put those hands together because who are we focusing on Jesus, that's right. Closing our eyes, because who are we focusing on? The Lord. Okay, let's do that. Lord God, I thank you so much for your son, Jesus. I thank you that he died on the cross for us. Lord God, I thank you that you love us so much that you sent Jesus. Lord, I pray for forgiveness in our lives. Will you forgive me for any wrongs that I've done, Lord? Lord, I know the things that I've done, and will you forgive me? I thank you that you love me no matter what. And thank you that your love is so big. Yeah, Lord, thank you for all that you've done in our lives. Will you bless us? Will you give us peace? Lord, will your peace enter the homes right now? Will your love and power enter these homes right now in your holy mighty name? Will we just have the best week? In your name, everyone said, amen. That's right, okay. We got our memory verse coming up. We're going to quickly go over it. We got some friendly faces that are gonna tell us our memory verse. It is our last week together, so this is our last time doing this memory verse. So let's hop over to some friendly faces, and we'll come back and do our, do it together. Sound good? Okay. Right, it's not that hard. Okay, come on. John 15, 13. It's not that hard. Greater love, no, come on, just do the actions. Greater love has no one than this. You have to learn your lines if you want to be in our videos. <sighs> Pastor Shay just asked us to do the memory verse with you guys. So we've come up with some actions for you guys to try at home. It's on the memory verse that you guys have been working on for a few weeks, John 15, 13. So here we go, ready? Greater love has no one than this to lay down one's life for one's friends. John 15, verse 13. So great singing Amy and Hope.
Love seeing their faces. All right, guys, it's not our memory verse without our game. Okay, ready? I'm gonna throw it and we'll see what we land on. Ba -ba -ba. Number six, we did that one last week. What do we got? Number five, like we're being chased by dragons. Are you ready? That's John 15, 13. You can run around your house, in your living room, and say this like you're being chased by a dragon. Greater love has no one than this, than to lay down one's life for one's friend. <sighs> okay, that's, that's how I would run from a dragon. John 15, 13. All right, now, we got some questions for you. Do you got some questions? I got some questions. Let's talk about them. All right, our first question is, how would you feel if a good friend did something to hurt you? What if they did it three times in a row? How do you think Jesus felt when Peter denied him three times in a row? That would be hard. Is there anything you could do that would change Jesus' love for you? Do you think so? Is there anything you could do to make Jesus love you less or stop loving you altogether? There's nothing. Jesus will never stop loving you. How is the way Jesus loves us different from the way we love? Now, I don't know about you guys, but I have a hard time forgiving. Like, it's hard for me to forgive. Now, Jesus in our story, he forgave Peter. He did. And it's a lot different than we can forgive sometimes. Because I don't know if you notice, but sometimes it's harder to forgive your siblings and stuff, right? Sometimes we want to get even or we tend to love based on the way others love us. But Jesus loves us no matter what. And he loves us all the time. Jesus will never stop loving you. He will never stop loving us. Knowing that, how does that mean we should love others? What do you think? We should be patient, we should forgive and love others even when they hurt us. Isn't that crazy? We should love others even when they hurt us because that's what Jesus did. Jesus loved Peter even though he might have hurt him. Okay, we got a little bit of a true and false game. I got my true, I got my false. Okay. If you think it's true, I want you to go on this side of the screen. If you think it's false, I want you to go on this side of the screen. Are you ready? I know you're ready. Okay. Peter told Jesus that he would follow him wherever he went. True or false? What do you think? What do you think? True? False. It is true. He said he'd never leave him. Okay. After Jesus was arrested, a girl asked Peter if he knew Jesus. Peter answered, yes, Jesus is my BFF. Is that true or false? What do you think? That is false. If you're on that side, you got it right. Okay. When Peter was asked the second time if he was Jesus' friend, he got scared and lied again and said he didn't know him. Is that true or false? What do you think? It is true. He lied and said he didn't know him. By the time Peter was asked the third time about being Jesus' friend, he told the truth. Is that true or false? What do you think? It is false. That's right. If you're on that side, give yourself a high five. That was false. He did not tell anyone that he was Jesus' friend. Okay. Jesus was so mad at Peter that he wouldn't even talk to him. Is that true or false? What do you think? That is false. Give yourself a high five. Okay, good job guys, high fives all around, high fives all around. Now, that is the end of our month, the end of, I almost said Alberta, the end of April. Wait, is it April or May? No, we're going into May. Yeah, next, next week when we come back, it's gonna be May, which means we're gonna have a new theme that we're talking about. So this month we talked about Easter or Erastes. Do you like the way I did that? Anyways, so next week we're going to be talking about a new theme. We're going to learn a new memory verse together and it's going to be super fun. I'm going to give you a little hint of what we're talking about. Are you ready? Okay, I'll let you guys guess what you think next week we'll be talking about. So great hanging out with you guys. We will see you next week. May the Lord bless you and have the best week ever. Bye.